thank you for your purchase of the Sweeney Digital Turning Tool, or DTT. This video is your guide on how to use this valuable tool and make turbine engine inspections easier to complete. Before starting an inspection, make sure all components are properly stored in their respective places. Each DTT comes standard with the following components. The controller is the heart of the system, powering the digital turning tool. All connectors fit only one jack and are not interchangeable. The pendant is the interface between you and the controller. It allows you to control and adjust settings like rotation speed, blade flagging, and more. The pendant can be used wirelessly or by USB cable wire if pendant charge is low or that option is preferred. A clip is included to suspend the pendant for ease of use and clear vision. The drive motor consists of a small but powerful electric motor and a custom gearbox which is coupled to various aircraft engine drive pad adapters. Output torque is adjustable from 30 to 150 foot-pounds and speed is adjustable from 20 degrees a minute to 360 degrees a minute. The foot pedal consists of a switch unit and cable assembly, which connects to the controller. When in manual mode, the foot pedal can be used to control engine rotation. Press and hold to begin rotating the engine, and release to bring the engine to a controlled stop. When in auto mode, the foot pedal is a hands-free way to flag blades during the inspection. Cable Connection First, connect the drive motor cable to the control box by lining up the bosses on the male wire connectors with the notches on the female connector. Next, push the male connector into the female connector. With the connector fully inserted, turn the locking ring a quarter turn to lock the connectors together. Next, connect the main power cord by aligning the bosses with the notches and push the male connector into the female connector. Powering on. To power up the controller, press the power switch to the on position. The LED light will illuminate white to indicate the unit is on. To turn on the pendant, press and hold the power button on the side of the pendant housing for approximately three seconds and then release. The screen will illuminate another three seconds after the power button is released. Pendant Wireless Pairing the pendant can be operated wirelessly via Bluetooth connection. Upon the first initial power-up of your new DTT unit, the pendant must be first connected via USB cable to the controller in order to pair it. This is the case if you are powering up a new controller, pendant, or entirely new system. After the initial tethered connection is made, the controller and pendant will remember each other and the wireless connection will occur automatically on future power-ups. If a wired connection is preferred, the pendant can also be used without a Bluetooth connection via the USB cable. If the pendant is being used wirelessly and has previously been paired with the controller, a screen will display upon power-up, indicating the pendant is searching for the controller. If a nearby controller is found, a confirmation screen indicating the controller has been found will appear. Press the Confirm button to confirm the pairing. The boot-up screen will then appear with a current software revision displayed. Engine Adapter Mounting Next, mount the engine interface adapter on the respective drive pad of the engine gearbox. Mounting methods vary from hex bolts, studs, captive screws, or clamps. Ensure the proper mounting fasteners are being used for the engine being inspected. Drive motor mounting. Ensure the controller is powered on, the pendant is paired, and the drive motor properly connected with the controller. To install the drive motor on the engine interface adapter, you must first line up the square drive and the flange bolt pattern. Use the counterclockwise or clockwise buttons on the pendant to change direction of the motor so the drive motor flange bolts line up with the engine interface adapter. Once the ears of the motor are aligned to the adapter, secure the drive motor to the adapter. Torque by hand or wrench to secure. Once secure, press the exit button. Calibrate Backlash In order to remove all clearance in the gear train between the DTT motor and engine, calibrating backlash is recommended before starting any borescope inspection. 
This ensures that when the motor rotates, the engine blades are in sync with motor input. Calibrate backlash and the direction the engine will be rotating. If rotating clockwise, press and hold the CW key until the engine rotates. Then, immediately release the CW key. Press set to designate the blade one location and your backlash has been calibrated. If you're rotating counterclockwise, follow these same steps but by first pressing the CCW key instead. Screens Overview Upon successful calibration of backlash, a splash screen will display the Enerpak logo and the current firmware version of the tool. The main menu contains all user adjustable settings that tailor to specific engine rotation requirements and user inspection preferences. Engine Scroll through the engine library until you reach the engine you will be inspecting. Engines are grouped together by manufacturer. There are multiple options in the main menu, allowing you to meet your preferences for engine inspection, including Rotate. The direction the engine will rotate. Choose between clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. Stage. What engine stage you're inspecting. Available stages will differ depending on what engine you have selected. Torque Limit Select the torque level at which the engine will be rotated. Different engines will require different torque levels in order to rotate. If this limit is exceeded, the drive motor will slip and a slip error message will appear. If this occurs, adjust the torque level to the appropriate value for the engine you're inspecting. Speed How fast the engine will rotate. This is adjustable from 20 to 360 degrees per minute. Acceleration Select to set the acceleration deceleration at which the motor will perform before it reaches the next blade. Manual or Auto Mode Two main options are available, Manual and Auto. Other rotation options are available within these modes depending on what mode you perform the inspection in. Manual mode allows you to turn the engine by pressing and holding the CW or CCW button. Releasing either button will result in the engine coming to a controlled stop. Auto mode allows for the engine to rotate automatically with the press of a button. Set Blade 1 if you calibrated backlash at the beginning of your inspection, your Blade 1 location will already be set. However, you will need to reset the Blade 1 location if you switch to a different engine stage during the inspection. To set the current blade as Blade 1, simply press the central flag button. Reset Blade 1 If at any point you need to change the Blade 1 location, scroll down to Reset Blade 1 and press the central flag button. Stop Mode By default, Stop Mode will be toggled on for each engine. This is especially important if you've chosen to rotate the engine in Auto Mode. When in Stop Mode, the engine will stop at Blade 1 after a full 360 degrees of rotation has been achieved. If Stop Mode is off, the engine will rotate continuously until the operator presses the red stop button. Delay Another feature of rotating in auto mode is the ability to determine how much time you'll want to inspect each blade. Delay allows you to change the amount of pause time at each blade. The time is incrementally adjustable from 0 to 60 seconds. During the inspection, press the flag button to mark an individual blade that may require further inspection. Review Flags Once the inspection is complete, you can return all blades you flagged by clicking on Review Flags. This will take you back to the inspection screen where you can rotate the engine to each individually flagged blade and perform a more in-depth inspection if required. The Sweeney Digital Turning Tool provides a simpler, more controlled way to inspect engine blades. 
By automating the rotation of blades, the DTT offers greater efficiency by allowing for a single operator to execute the entire borescope inspection process. With its compact design and enhanced features, including wired or wireless operation, the DTT offers a mobile, reliable, and easy-to-use solution for all borescope inspection needs. This ends the operational overview. Thank you for watching. And if you have further questions, refer to the manual or contact an Enerpac Certified Service Center for help.